Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a mum of three from the UK and today I'm going to be showing you a new planner that I've got specifically for planning home education for the children and like jotting stuff down that we've done, like reverse planning. We're just going to have a little talk about about that so i found this um on amazon i was just kind of googling homeschool planner or home education planner or anything like that and um, this is what i found it's called the a plus homeschool planner for up to six students so if you have um multiple children you don't have to use loads and loads of different books and it says plan record and celebrate each child's progress and it's by amy sharoni i'm hoping i'm saying her name right so i've left a link for it in the description and i just wanted to um show you a flick through and excuse me <laughs> show you a flick through and let you see some of the stuff that I've added in so far um it retails at 16.99 in dollars I can't remember how much it cost in pounds but I will uh, add that in the description so let's have a wee look shall we Okay, so it starts here with the contents and you've got how to use the planner, but you know, if you use planners already, using a planner is going to be reasonably simple, so you know, I didn't read any of that personally. Then you've got a year, year calendar, goals for the year, monthly calendars, week calendars, and the year in re review, which I like that. I like that it kind of focuses on the end. Um, it says that he's got these tabs, but that's a load of rubbish because they're not really real. You can, however, you can't even see different colours on there so it's not useful in the slightest that it says that it has tabs so um, firstly we've started off in the year calendar here as you can see it goes from July to June so this is for the 2021-2022 kind of year and I've just put that we had our London trip in here that we got sow in and then we've got Yule and Xmas um, these are days that we definitely won't do any homeschool and I haven't put it on any other dates so far so yeah, this is the year calendar. It goes from July all the way down to June and I've just put in London trip, which you will see in the next couple of days and then Samhain, which is 30th to the 31st and to the 1st really, but we're celebrating on the 30th and the 31st this year. And then you've got Yule on the 21st and then Christmas 25th, 26th. What I really love about this is that it's got some really cool quotes up the top here. There's kind of inspirational messages and then quotes from other people. Um, and I really, really like that about this planner. Um, I've got some stickers and things to get from my other planner, which I will introduce you to at a later date. Uh, this hasn't really got any space for them, really, because it's not a it's not a decorative planner. But I can stick a couple of uh, of leaves in there, which make me happy. Look, add another little leaf along there which is cute anyway so then moves on to the goals of the year i'm going to move it so you can try and see it a bit better i hope there you go so i've put here with charles i've put gain confidence in writing complete years two and three power maths books learn to play a musical instrument because those that's a goal that he has set for himself he wants to learn to play guitar uh, Bessie, become a confident reader, begin writing words, complete years one and two of power math, start a new hobby. Albert, learn all phonetic sounds, start blending words, complete reading eggs, year R lessons and book, complete maths, seeds, year R lessons and book, and that's all he's got. And then there's also a section for myself, and I put complete my three courses. I am training to be a counsellor and life coach, and mindfulness coach, sorry. Counselor, life coach, counselor, mindfulness, and life coach. That's what I'm training to do, and I will hopefully put some videos up about that once I have uh, trained. Um, make house easy to take care of. Basically, I need to declutter and I need to put organizational systems in place, which I will uh, probably vlog as I'm doing them. And then train, marry, and Tria. Train, marry, Tria, and Lola, which are my horses. So, there we go. Albert is shouting outside the door. He is with his dad. He just doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> so here I've got the month plan. Um, I have ordered some stickers to put the month up here. Excuse me. Um, which I will. In so there'll be nice brightly coloured pastel rainbow um, month stickers, which I will add in, and then I'll write the dates in. So those will be for things like um, 
for any trips that we're going on or anything like that or a theme that sort of thing i will write it in here and then we move so that's like um a month just the months in general so that's september october so i will just use that as i said if you can hear albert shouting in the background he is fine he is just with his daddy and he does not want to go to bed so he is shouting for me in the hope that I will come and rescue him from the dreaded bedtime, which unfortunately will not happen. I will just put him straight to bed, so um, as well, which much to his annoyance. So he's uh, shouting in the hope that um, I will take pity on him <laughs> and, not let, and not make him go to bed and let him uh, go on Roblox, which I will not, unfortunately, for him. <laughs> but not obviously unfortunately for me because I have things to do. So, and this is the weekly spot, as you can see down the side here, um, this gold patch, it says one to six, so then each row is for each child. So I will use this section for just recording what they've done. Um, hello Lily. What I might do is put, um, put in pencil what I would like them to do potentially that week, and I'll do it a week at a time and then I will go over it in pen or, or use an erasable pen um, when they've actually done it. So kind of like a, um, a pre-plan and then a reverse plan at the same time. So just a little um, explanation of what I mean when I say reverse plan. So you just, it's exactly the, same. <laughs> exactly the same as documenting it. So if I was just reverse planning, I wouldn't write anything in here before they did it, and when they did it, I would just write it in like they did page two pages of panel maths. They did page thirty and thirty two thirty one or something like that. Um pre plan I would write it down and then we do the thing that they have written. But I'm gonna do a bit of both, so I'll write down what I would like them to do that week and then I will go over it um to like cement it in like this is what's actually happened. Um and then the each week it gives you an extras, so it might be like um, an extra activity or a project that they want to do and then you've got grades for those who do grades. Um, I only tend to grade if they do like an assessment type thing. That was all thing. And then it moves on to the months and as I said each one up here, each line has some a little advice useful advice or a quote from somebody and that goes all the way through then so that's just all weeks and it's got as i said different quote a different piece of advice all the way through and that just takes you all the way through to the end of the year to a year in review and again it's got each one a block for each child and then my year in review so for me to have a space as well which i think is really good and then it's just got notes uh it's got resources and websites and stuff it suggests that um that you go on and then it's like acknowledgements and stuff like that so there you go that is my new home ed planner hello you're supposed to be in bed <laughs> Anywho, so yeah, that's the uh, planner that I'm going to be using for pre-planning and reverse planning with um, home ed stuff. Uh, it's not something I'm going to take with me if I go out and I don't need to. I just need to kind of be able to open it up of a morning and go, right, okay, this is what I wanted us to do today or this is what we did today. Um, and also for some reason if my husband is home for example and he is doing the home ed with the kids he can just open it up and go okay what am I meant to be doing today with them that's great um, and yeah so that's what I'm going to be using for my planning with specifically home ed planning um, like all of it will go in all of the home ed stuff will go in here i won't put any home ed stuff in my regular planner that is just for like the household stuff and it's more like parenting rather than actual education and um, all of the education stuff will go in here um if you would like to see what i'm using as a household planner like for myself and for like keeping the house tidy all of that kind of stuff i will gladly show it to you something that i'm learning to do slowly myself and i would love to share it with you sharing the journey um 
I know quite a few people just ask for organisation and planning videos and um, I am thinking of adding that in as a Wednesday video just to like fill in that gap so I actually have like a theme because we have home ed Mondays, we have family Fridays and I wanted to make that Wednesday a thing because obviously they're not adoption videos anymore. Um, so I'm thinking about doing that. Like our house is a work in progress, I'm a work in progress. I'm doing stuff, I'm doing self development stuff, I'm doing decluttering, I'm trying to find a household like cleaning routine that works for me because I've tried all of the things, you know, like the whole zone cleaning and Mrs. Hinch and like clean mama and fly lady and all of those things and I've just never found one that sticks with me that I can actually have time to do when I'm also looking after three children, two of whom have um, special needs or additional needs or high needs, however you want to call it, who are autistic, who society deems as disabled, it can be really stressful and I don't have a lot of time sometimes to get stuff done like cleaning and decluttering and other housework jobs um, and just like how to keep your house how to keep your house tidy when your kids are always in it because all of these cleaning videos and like home making videos I see are based on children who leave the house and go to school and, uh, but yeah so I wanted to do some videos that just kind of detail my journey on that um, We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm gonna go now because it is height of bedtime here and I need to upload this video for you lovely people. And I will see you on Wednesday for kind of an organization and planning video. I'm gonna introduce you to my new friend, the Happy Planner. Have a great week guys and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye.